Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to set up a Orchard Core CMS website with a headless recipe. Um, if you don't know what Orchard Core is, Orchard Core is a open source CMS and uh, it just reached version one and it's a open source modular multi-tenanted uh, CMS and it was written in uh, dotnet core ASP.NET core um yeah so we are going to explore how to set up a basic uh, headless cms recipe here because they have quite a few recipes um, if you want to go and check out their documentation they have a very good documentation you can and there are also a bunch of how-to guides to create um, good cms in dotnet for you so we will just go through this and then try to set up a new cms application the end result with will be a CMS, which is, which has to do. So we will define a content type called to do's, and then we will also create and then edit and then delete the to do's. And then we will see how to like render them in the CHS, CS, HTML, um, in the application we created. Yes. Um, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we do, so I will first close this. And uh, the first thing is to create a new empty folder to follow along. As always, I have created a blog post. You can also um, look at the comments here and then continue along. The first important thing is that um, you have the templates available um you the current template version is 1.1.0 and then you have the cms dotnet new uh, orchard core cms so this um, this command this template will only be available if once you installed um once you install this project template so make sure you have the project template uh, available so once you have installed that you can copy and then do follow along so to create the cms you can say ah, mm, .NET new um my cms and then copy it and then paste it the cms is created just explore see it created my cms okay now we can just just um, go inside okay. CMS and then open Visual Studio Code. Okay, we have uh, an log file, a program.cs file, and the stats. Um, so it's a very pretty basic application, and then we can see what happens when we run it. So for the, for running it, I will do .NET Watch run. The .NET Watch will launch the application. It's launching. Okay, the application has launched. So I will say my CMS, and then in the recipe, I will choose headless. Um, the headless side allows you to have an open ID and few other um, required things for the headless CMS. Um, I will leave the database uh, provider as um, SQLite. So the first one is headless side. The second one is SQLite. I will add a username name and a email and then give a sort. okay now our cms is ready now we can log in i will choose okay now as you can see the cms is ready and available you can see the content content items and content type definitions and content types in the content type section there is a new content type available so this button here we just click here and to create a new content type we will give a name called to do so to do and then create so this will create a um, new content for you i will do more videos on explaining how to do these things make sure you subscribe to the channel and then you, you can see like okay what does the bag means and how do you list and provide a collection of items things like that this is just an um, getting started video so we just add a title and we can also add a field the field will be is done so the technical uh, name all um automatically comes and the field type is boolean click save and now you save now you have uh created a content no so if you come to this content item um page you can see the new to do's you can now create a new to do click on the new to do and then you can say to do one and publish and you can actually view the to do uh, item you created is just a small item we just created and i will create one more to do to do two okay so now we have two to do's and we can see them here but if you go to if you want to render that in some kind of a CSS HTML page, we have to come back to the app. So here, it's there is nothing going on. We already 
are using uh, Orchard Core and Orchard Core CMS. So that means the Razor page is already enabled for us. So we can directly go to pages and then add to do's dot cs html and if you go to the blog post you have a sample page available for you so this will create a page and then we are using orchard helper and then we are using uh we are getting the recent content item with the name to do's and we are just grouping through that to do's and then displaying the display text and then the is done value here so let's go and check um if the yes the dot not watch should have uh, restarted the uh, restarted the application to do's if we go to to do's now we have to do one to do two false let's come and change the one of the to do's if you come to the content item uh let's go and edit to do two and then say it's published publish it and then come back and then refresh it here and it's true so what we are doing is we are just displaying the content we are managing the content um and there is quite a few things um comes by default in the headless uh recipe we have a graphql explorer where you can also come and then see hey i just want to see the to do's and then uh you can see the renders published modified date so if you remove all these things um and run see we have the to do's um in the graphql as well um there are quite a few options to explore um if you're interested in how to do these things uh just give a comment or um or or give a like to this video um i will try to do more of this um in the future um yes uh, that's pretty much it for this video it's a pretty uh, small getting started uh in the next video uh, we will uh, see how to do the open id so if you come here um in the security you have open id and if you have a react application or angular application uh, we will see how to create a client and then authenticate and also see the to do's in this uh, in the reactor or angular application um yeah just make sure you subscribe and uh give a like to this video it helps the channel um yeah that's pretty much it for me i'll see you in another video bye bye